Wow. Holy crap. This water in these creeks is getting so freaking cold. So if you guys saw the last video, it was like, it was pretty cold. But this water at this creek whew, woke us up a little bit bad. Holy, that is cold. A bit more than brisk if you ask me. So today we're starting off this video at a creek that I've not been to here in a while. And we're gonna be doing some fishing. If you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail, you know what's going on. Let me just set the scene for you though. So yesterday it stormed and it downpoured so much and it's been cold over the past like week kind of at nights like getting down to 40s 50s not like super cold but you know i'm interested to see like how the cold is affecting these fish maybe different fish will bite maybe the trout will come out if there's still trout in this creek we know that there's snakehead there's catfish there's a lot of different stuff in this one but also with the super rain downpour yesterday and last night i'm really wondering if it pushed fish down the creek into holes or different places and it's gonna be different fish here than there were last time i don't know let me show y'all what we're fishing today with though Hello? Boom, we are gonna open this up here in a second. But if you guys have been following the channel, we've done Amazon fishing kits, the most expensive ones, and we've kind of reviewed them and see if we catch the fish with them. We've done it for bass fishing and we've done it now for saltwater fishing. Today is creek fishing. This is the most expensive Amazon fishing kit, lures kit for, uh, yeah, most expensive we could find. So we're gonna break into this, hopefully catch the fish on it, and then, uh, yeah, explore the creek, see what's going on, freeze our butts off, and have a good, freaking day it's morning too so it should heat up at least the sun should a little bit it is alive out here this morning we got the birds chirping we got um water flowing i've really not seen many fish when i walked down i did a little wade down to get to this spot uh hopefully they're all saving their hunger for when we start fishing so this is what we got here i believe this was probably about 30 ish dollars i have absolutely no clue what's in here so let's just run through this super super freaking fast this is some soft plastics. It's like a little crawl dude, I guess. We got some curly tails. Those look kind of nice. And a goldfish. This kind of looks like a Swedish fish. Interesting. Oh, and some tiny little grubs. And some other color grubs. Sick. I'm just, uh, it, it's just going to be really interesting to see how aggressive and how many fish really want to bite. Because as the water gets colder, I know it, creek fishing gets a little bit tougher. Like they're all fired up, especially like you can cast out pretty much anything in the summertime and red breast will smash it. But I don't know about this time of year. We're going to see though. So then we move on to, we got some hard baits. That dude right there. I think, yeah, we got a popper. It's probably a little bit bigger of a popper than I'd want to use here, but maybe we'll throw that around and oh, hello, there goes the popper. And we've got a little crank bait, a little lipless right there. All right. Um, let's just go to the other side. We have a very interesting frog dude. Not sure how to rig that up at all. We have a shrimp for all the uh, shrimps in here we can imitate in the freshwater Delaware Creek. This is pretty cool. It's some tiny little worm dudes. I think they're all different companies kind of that we've ordered through and I've done a lot of Amazon fishing kit stuff before. A lot of this stuff just feels like the same stuff. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense. Like a lot of them probably get it from the same bulk manufacturers and it's just the same like especially like these i've seen this freaking popper i don't know how many times anywho let's go oh i didn't even know okay it comes with a bunch of this stuff too so we've got hooks beads jig head oh there's some jig heads in there looks like some carolina rig stuff too got more crickets in this department and then we have a lot of spoons now this wasn't exactly you know creek fishing kit that's as close as i could find besides if i just want to get like a whole thing of spinners and stuff all right let's just pop all this stuff <clears throat> still trying to wake up here out of the thing let's get this dude out so that looks like looks like it could work i'm not really sure about these triangle dudes all right so put this jig head on and then we just put one of these curly tails on i'm interested to see not all curly tails are the same that does like no action <laughs> All right, well, we're just gonna wait out here a little bit, try to get into this deeper. Oh, wow. Again, though, it's super clear. What's up, dude? I just love how clear these creeks get. Just kind of bop this around, see if anybody's over here. The deeper stuff. Try to start this day off on the right foot. Oh, there we go. That looks way better when we just straight retrieve it. 
All right, let's try to pop it under this tree right here. Dude, random spider web on my head. Hello? Oh, someone's got it. Someone's on it, at least. I don't know what that was, but he picked up my, my tail. It's good to see that there's actually fish here. <clears throat> no. Not the jig head. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Well... Frick. All right, well, we're one jig head and one curly tail out already. It's all right though. So I put on this dude. I have mixed feelings about this. First of all, I got fluoro on. I mean, it's light, but basically, Realistically, that's not really the line you want to be using, but also, I feel like this might be a little bit bigger than we want to fish with, but, oh, dude, I got smacked. Did you see that? <laughs> Hold on. Something came up and just rocked me, but that is going to be the issue here, isn't it? This bait might be a little bigger. Yeah, we're getting bit. I just don't know if they're going to be able to get it in their mouths. It's a bit of a tricky situation, isn't it? We don't exactly have, I feel like, what we need. It'd be interesting to see, like, okay, compare this $30. What the heck is that? Somebody like destroyed or something destroyed a fish. All the guts are hanging out right there. But if I made a uh, creek fishing kit for 30 bucks, compared to like a, you know, Amazon one, see whose is better. I have a feeling I know, but. Come on, anybody hanging out right there? I know there is. You know what, actually, the first time I ever fished in this creek is this year. I don't know if you guys remember this, I caught a pretty big freaking bass. There were some big ones over this one area. We're gonna head down there and see if they want a popper. It's still like morning. I just don't know, I don't know. Oy. The other thing about this creek too, I will just preface this real quick. So I met these super, super nice kids. I think they were like Bulgarian or something. They were like helping me catch fish one time, but they have this like thing. I don't even know what it is. One thing is like an airsoft or a blow. I don't know. But then they also have like a bow and they were just like slapping the fish and crushing them with these freaking projectiles. And they did it to like a bunch of eels, which I don't know if that's legal or not. Somebody told me eels are protected, but I, don't, I, I need to research that. I don't know if that's true in these waters. But uh, yeah, they uh, a lot of fish went bye-bye. It's kind of sad. Tell you what though, I would really love to catch a fish on the popper. I've been severely slacking on topwater bites this whole year. Let me just show y'all real quick. Look at this beauty though. We've got creek going into, whoa. I love this part right here. Looks so freaking cool. All right, let's do this like three more times. One. Pop, pop. Want something freaking hit it, dude. Okay, next man up. Who's it gonna be? I don't even know what we have, realistically. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. They gave us really, really weird hooks, but there is an actual kind of a normal-ish hook on this one spoon. So we're gonna take that off. There we go. 
So that is a hook that we have. The other ones were those freaking... I, I really despise these hooks. It's like this little tiny EWG. You guys have seen me in the past. I don't know how many Amazon fishing challenges. I've had issues with those. I've lost some good fish with those. So I'm wondering... Um, possibly... Would this even work? I don't know. Something like that. I mean, obviously they're going to see the hook. But, <laughs> I don't know. Alrighty, next man up. So, I come to the conclusion that this, uh, yeah, it's just, there's a lot of things that I would change, right? This hook is definitely bigger than, like, maybe like a size 12 would be perfect. Like, how else are you supposed to fish these? And how are you supposed to fish those, like, little grubs and the little bugs and stuff? Because this isn't even a hook you're supposed to use. For, it's, like, for the other thing. Either way. And it came with no split shots, so I just put one on. That would have been nice to have, like if they just could have thrown in like two, two and a half. This is where things get interesting now. Why is there a shoe? Is everybody okay? <laughs> Hello? Hopefully whatever was like short striking our popper, we'll see this gently swaying down and take a little nip at it. Come on, we just gotta get a fish on the board today. I feel like this is probably the, the bait that I have the most confidence in in this whole darn pack. It's just that hook, you know? Hmm. Okay, so we just lost the only hook that we had from the thing that would actually work. So I just put, we're gonna experiment again, we're scientists. So that's a size 12 hook. Another split shot on there, and then we just didn't got that same worm. Oh. Let's see. Huh. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, he has it in his mouth, but he doesn't have it in his mouth. Frick. There we go. There we go. Oh, got somebody give me the lucky sounds in the background. He's like edging up there or weed eating or whatever. Who first fish of the day. Dude, that took so long. These fish are like being super weird. Like I could see them in this little hole right here, but they're like running up and then they're biting my split shot. And then they were like putting the worm in their mouth and giving it a kiss, not eating it. There we go, man, of course. First fish of the day, our old buddy, the red breast. Wow, that water is so freaking, oh, it's chilly. <clears throat> oh, I got a fish, I got a fish, I got a fish. What is that? Second species of the day, oh, tiny. Dude, we're having to work for these today. Wow, that is a very not big fish. This might be one of the smallest ones I've caught this year so far. Look at that. That is a tiny, tiny chill, dude. Still got, oh, go, go. Still got lots of energy. That was a little smallmouth bass, believe it or not. And what's crazy, ooh, that wind's kicking up. But I, I came out, you guys saw that one video where we absolutely crushed so many creek fish. That was a different creek, but that was not, I mean, even that long ago. It was just before all this weather stuff started happening. The smallies were fired up. I don't know about, yeah, it's just the weather, I think. Especially after last night, it was just a very weird, crazy storm.
There we go. That was a lucky sneeze, actually. What is that? Oh, yeah. That's a little bit better. Come here. <laughs> okay, I was just about to switch, too. That is thick. Oh, my. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wait a second. This is unexpected. That is a giant freaking bluegill. That's a gill, right? Might be like a cross between two things. Holy crap. <laughs> that just made my freaking day right there, dude. It's been a struggle so far. We've actually been out here for quite a while. But that is a very, very, especially from a creek, man, super solid gill. Thank you for playing, buddy. Wow. Wow. He's like, what the frick? All right, there we go. <laughs> Whew. That might have been one of those things uh, I was casting right in that spot earlier where I was getting dinged when I was throwing the popper. Holy crap. I'm going to keep casting here for a little bit. I, I was like, dude, I'm going to switch the worm up. You've got a couple different things that possibly could go on the hook. I don't know if they're going to look as natural as the worm. Well, if we're luring in some thick dudes like that, I just got bit. There you go. Oh yeah. He's skiing on the top. You see that wake? Holy. Dang, dude. This is what I'm talking about, man. Ultra light fishing is so much fun. All right, what we got this time? Solid, not as big, but uh, we have the cousin. Boom. I can respect a beautiful red breast sunfish. Get you a nice release. This dude was skiing on the water. Oh, he's just chilling too. Hello? There he goes. Oh, I see something. He's looking at me. Does he have it? He's got it. He's got it. Oh yeah. What is that now? Oh, dude. Dude, 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 dude. Let's freaking go. This is actually massive. Oh no. Right there. He's, look at him. He's at my feet. Uh, of course, that was the one that had to pop off. You guys probably didn't even get a good look at it. That was a little largemouth bass. It had like that beautiful freaking clear creek stripe down the side, man. Oh, that was a nice fish. All right. Let's take a look here. I kind of want to chuck something else. We've been throwing the worm a little bit. Um, what do you think? Cricket or grub? Let's go grub. There's also chartreuse grub, but that looks even less authentic than this grub. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Hello. All right, so for the time being, take little worm dude off. Don't know if I'm going to regret that. We can always put it back on. Ah, oh, man, I really would have loved to get that. Freaking, that was such a pretty fish. I am not exactly sure how you're supposed to rig that, but we'll just kind of do that. Looks kind of weird, but whatever. All right, now this is not it. I've had two fish I've seen like barely bite this and then they just spit it right out. They're like, that is not the grub that I like. Little do they know. That's what they're gonna get when they bite this big old worm again. All right, we are gonna keep on going here. Actually, I might flip a rock or two over just see if we get any crawfish real quick. We have a new mission here now. So in that one spot, we've caught a decent amount of fish and a decent amount of variety, but that was all on the one singular bait. So now our goal is to, uh, I have this little dude on right now. Dude, my ankles are getting wobbled on these rocks. I want to catch something on something else from the kit. That's the goal. Again, if I didn't have this hook that I have on now, like if we didn't lose 
Oh, I thought I just got bit. I might have just got bit. Yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is they did not have a hook really for this. I don't know how you're supposed to fish this. I wish there was like a something that told you something. Let me know how you guys would do it. I could do it weightless without the split shot, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. We got a freaking fish, dude. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Let's freaking go. Goal done. Boom. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill. There we go. <laughs> Whew. On the, uh, let's see, what it exactly is this? I think it's just a little cricket dude, right? Something like that. I got it rigged up weird, but it's working. There we go. This is not the fish that we had. Dude, I literally, wait, what is that? Another red breast. That's a thick one, dude. Holy. They're actually really liking this bait as well. A bit underrated, maybe, this old cricket dude. Originally, there we go. Oh, yeah. oh wow. A little red breast again. We had a uh, bass bite. I don't know if it was a smallie or large. I'm guessing a smallie. Popped right out of his darn mouth. It's just so cool when, like, this creek is so... I'm, I, I can't believe how clear it is after that storm yesterday. But it's like, you could just watch them. And you could just see them eat it. This is never the fun part. Oh, jeez. It's walking back up the creek. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to get up to this hole up here. We're going to do some casting. And I have a special spot I want to check out. Hopefully we don't go for a swim here. I'm telling you, this water is nippy. Feels a lot better though now that the sun is like more shining out. <laughs> this is just, it's so crazy to me. Like that is probably maybe two, two and a half feet deep. We've got some situation going on over there. Oh well. Well, just look how, look how clear that is. Oh, they like stopped right here. Don't tell me this is another crime scene video. All right, I know this right now is dark for y'all. I'm gonna take a few casts here. This is a deep hole. This is just a hole that I would not like to remember. This is where a family of catfish likes to live in this creek. A specific family of catfish that I think we got some beef with each other, to be honest. I've uh, spent a lot of time here trying to catch these fish, and they're just well beyond. Like, their IQ is Im Im immeasurable on the fish scale. Mm. Ow. <sighs> All right. It's kind of dark. Cannot exactly see. Very well. Oh, I'm getting bit. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy. What is that? Dude, I actually don't know what this is. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, I thought that was a trout for a second. All right, chill. Don't make those weird sounds. I don't like it when you do that. This is a beautiful big fall fish. Like that's that's a pretty good size one. On the little cricket dude. Whoo whoo. Look at that. That's what I thought might be happening. Alright, let's let him go. Boom. Thank you, buddy. So this is the creek I was talking about, and it kind of feeds into this whole big creek right there. So you'd have to think if it was raining a bunch, maybe some fish are waiting for stuff like little crickets or whatever to flow down. That tinier creek make its way into the big creek. That is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my freaking God. Dude, I just saw 
one of the biggest smallmouth I've ever seen in Delaware. I don't think he's gonna bite the freaking beetle, even if he does, dude. Do I wanna hook this thing on a size 12 hook? All right, well at the last spot, I saw a big, big smallie. I think I've seen that one a couple times before, but it just, from the angle I was at, you could tell how big it was. We'll be back. I tried throwing different lures and stuff. I got demolished at that last spot by Skeeters. All I gotta say though, man, appreciate y'all for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts. Is this tackle kit box worth it? I uh, I don't know. I mean, technically it's not Creek Creek, but I do kind of feel like that's what they were marketing towards. All I gotta say though, again, man, appreciate y'all for freaking watching. Thank you for supporting. If you are not already, if you do enjoy the videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. <sighs> Thank y'all for watching, man. See y'all next video.